name is Bob from Aesthetic Imprints, and I run a custom apparel, screen printing, and embroidery company all out of my parents' basement in today's a special video, because I got a special box in the mail. As you guys can see, I didn't order this box, but as you guys can see from the tape and the packaging and the printing, this is from Ryanet, aka ScreenPrinting.com, and they sent this special box to me, and I wonder what's inside. I kind of have a guess of what it is. It's probably... FN Inc. So I'm excited to see what they sent me and let's try it out. First and foremost, huge shout out to Ryan for sending this out to me. As you can see, they went a lot on this packaging. Pretty sure they screen printed this on here. Bring your art to life. And then this side is screenprinting.com and it's just a bunch of squeegees and ink splatters. I'm excited to see what's inside. I kind of have a guess. It's probably the new specialty inks that they just came out with seven new fn inks and i saw the instagram story and all the posts that they did those inks look killer and i'm excited to get my hands on those i was actually going to order them on my own but i'm curious to see what they sent me in here so let's crack this open all right, the suspense is killing me let's open this shout out to anthony for sending this out to me that's who it says it's from shout out to you man um let's crack this open and we all know Ryanette, whenever you get something from them, it comes in this green tape. That's how, it's just that marketing that they do. I mean, they did a killer job with that. Let's open this bad boy. Aha. First things first, I'm greeted with this. Aha, check this out. You have been chosen. You're doing rad things in the industry. The way you blaze the trail for new and in inventive ideas, and print techniques, and inspirational in recognition of your dedication to power in the print. The team at ScreenPrinting.com is giving you one of the new specialty inks by FN Inc. before anyone else. The, the specialty ink in this box has all the features that printers have come to love about FN Inc. It's creamy, low care, and easy to use. Try it out. We've included additional goodies so you can test it for yourself. FN Inc. has released a total of seven new specialty inks, all with the same high quality features as the ink in this box. Scan the QR code to see the full line of specialty inks by FN Inc. and add them to your arsenal today. As always, keep power in the print. Printer.com. That's sick. That's sick. I appreciate you all from Ryanette for sending this out to me and choosing me to try this out and be one of the first people to try it out. Whoa, they sent a bunch of goodies. They sent, oh, that sticker is sick. This is like the FN Inc. sticker. Financially necessary silver metallic. Oh, that's a rad sticker. Bring your art to life. The snake. There's a spatula in there. That's sick. Whoa. FN Inc. take a stand. These are, these are some dope designs. Oh. Bring your art to life. Yeah, these are some sick stickers. Take a stand, high quality ink print or die. Man, these are sick. Oh, wow. They even sent some transparency sheets to burn the designs. I assume they probably want me to use these. So let's do some testing with the designs that they sent us. And this one, it even has some half tones. Bring your art to life. That's dope. And then here's the new specialty inks they got. They got the Barrier Black, the Pearl, Curable Reducer, Puff. That Puff is what I'm excited for. I, I, I've been trying to do this Puff print and they came out with a Puff print. FN ain't coming out with a Puff print. You know it's gonna be crazy. The extender, I think I was looking into the extender is if you're running out of ink, you throw that in there and it's gonna extend the life. In other words, if you only have 10% of the ink remaining, you throw that in there, you can make that 10% turn to 20% and so on. Silver metallic, gold metallic, and stretch additive. These are some dope designs. Financially necessary silver metallic. Benefits, silver metallic can be printed on its own, blah, blah, blah. That's sick, I appreciate, right? Let me see what's in here. Okay, we got a we got a t-shirt. This is okay. They they sent like a whole kit to try this out with. Check out the packaging. Okay. The 
recyclable. You see how they package everything and it's all recyclable? Shout out to them. They've always been doing that. From like the first machine I got from them four or five years ago, they always send stuff and recyclable stuff. They'll package it with like paper and cardboard and everything that you can recycle. Okay, they send me an ink. What is it? What do they send me? Silver metallic. Okay, let's try this out. I'm the silver metallic. You know, I've been having a few customers ask me if, they, if I can do silver metallic, and this is this is perfect. That makes sense why they sent me this silver metallic instruction sheet and all. But we don't read instructions, so let's just go test it out. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Calm down. Calm down. Let's read this just for this video. Benefits, FN Ink Metallic Server can be printed on its own or mixed with other colors so you printers can add a shimmer effect to mix with other colors. What do you mean mix with other colors? I, the Metallic Ink maintains a soft hand feel printers love. It's vibrant. Make a print sparkle with FN Ink Metallic Silver. It's a low cure metallic ink that can be printed directly to fabric. Print it over an underbase and mixed with other colors. While FN Ink Metallic Silver is a low cure ink, the flakes will reflect heat when cured in an electric dryer. It will slow down the cure process in comparison to other FN Ink colors. Proper wash section should be performed to ensure that parameters are optimal before running any production. Ensure the ink cures properly. So we're gonna cure this a little bit longer. Testing, when testing cured inks, perform a wash test. Of course, do you guys know who you guys know what channel this is? We're gonna do a stretch test on this bad boy for sure. If the silver prompts any issues after a wash test, the metallic cleanup. Let's get started. There it is, everybody. As you can see, the two designs on top of each other is looking pretty dope. And the half tones came out pretty darn sweet with this 156 mesh. I thought 156 was going to be the best mesh because it's a good testing point to do. Not too high of a mesh count, not too low of a mesh count. It's a good neutral spot. And if you want to learn more about the emulsion and coating and exposing process, I actually have a video right here. Check that video out. I use the same emulsion from Ryanet. It's the base layer emulsion. Check that video out if you want to learn more about the exposing process but let's let this dry and let's go print and i got the screen maker right here and it's all dry and it's ready to go so let's start loading it up onto the press and start printing but first while the screen was dry i want to give a shout out to the people that comment on my videos engage with me i'm gonna start giving y'all a shout out here's some of the comments that i just saw and replied to I appreciate you all commenting and showing love and supporting me and the channel. It really goes a long way and I actually take my time out to reply to you guys because why would I not reply to you guys? I know there's going to be a case where it's going to be so many comments that I just can't reply. But right now, man, I can reply to you guys while, while these screens are drawn. I'm going to go on my phone and reply to the comments because I appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to watch these videos, show love, show support, comment. Man, I really appreciate you all. You guys definitely make my day and motivate me and inspire me to keep making videos like this because I know you guys appreciate it. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting. Shout out to you all that comment, that show love, and watch these videos and come back every week. Let's get back to it.
All right, now that I got everything set up, this ink, man, it's like a, it's it's a nice texture. It's not too thick. As you can see, it just runs on its own. So maybe I should have used the 230 mesh, but I'm sure we would be perfectly fine with the 156. I'm very curious to see how this prints. This definitely looks like a metallic silver. It, it looks like they just melted some metallic silver and put it in here. I'm just kidding. But... This looks very metallic -y. I'm excited to print this, see how it turns out. Let's print this. As you can see, it's very like, it's almost like a water-based texture. I don't know how I'm gonna load this up because it keeps dripping. Okay, it's gonna be a lot difficult than I thought. Ooh, that color looks so fire. Should be good with that. All right, let's do our first test print. I'm gonna print it on a scrap shirt because you guys know I like to do a test print before I print on any blank t-shirt just in case there's some things that need to be fixed. Oh wow, look at this texture. It's like, okay. What? That metallic looks. You ready for this? Whoo! That's one. Wow. This is a black shirt, and I only printed that once, and there's no underbase. That's crazy. That's crazy. I have to give you guys a close up of this. This is, this is no underbase. That's wow. Let's send this under the flash. I want to see what a print flash print is going to do to this. Because that looks crazy. All right, now that we flashed it, let's do another print. Let's see how it is. Wow, that's crazy. Check that out. I mean, that looks almost like it's a reflective print. That's crazy. Get it closer. It's not going to focus. But as you can see, you could clearly see that shimmer to it as well. Wow. Wow. Noticing the camera, it really doesn't do it justice. It looks basically like a white print, but in, this is not a white. This is not a white print. I'm gonna try to show you guys as best as I can towards the end of the video when I do that little B-roll of the product. But this is definitely not a white print. Let's go do a full production and print that T-shirt that they sent us. everybody huge huge shout out to ryan for sending this out so i could try it out and show you guys what this is all about and all their new specialty inks that they came out with this was a silver metallic as you can see on camera it looks more white but in person it's more silver i don't know why the camera has a little bit of struggles trying to figure out what it is and stretch test passes everything looks good i threw it on right here as you can see it has like a silver metallic look to it and it printed great but of course there's so many other ways to print this with the underbase it's probably going to pop even more and then just using different mesh counts 230 mesh blah 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 we're going to dive deep into that in future videos and test it out further but i hope you all enjoyed this quick video of me opening the box that ryanette sent us huge shout out to ryanette again once again thank you so much if you're new here, subscribe to The Grind, join the family, join the behind the scenes content because I take you guys behind the scenes with screen printing, embroidery, heat press, and a whole bunch of stuff. But just growing this business out of my parents' basement, always remember no grind, no glory, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.